I will be showing you a video about a Russian jet, 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 jet. <laughs> you know what does it do? SubhanAllah, this is crazy. This is like insane. This fighter jet, it takes off just like, you know, any other fighter jet. And it has a lot of like, uh, you know, acrobatic movements. So it can flip, it can tilt to the right, to the left, no problem. Can go really, really fast and it can also slow down. But one thing that it does that is mind boggling, like you have no idea like how this technology Russia has invented and, and you know, they improvised on this technology and they made it now so fine tuned that uh, SubhanAllah, I mean, US right now, take a look at the video. I'm gonna show you the video in a second. You are US right now, they are actually very afraid of that um, technology that Russia has. So I'm going to show you that and you can take a look yourself you know you can have a good idea i mean this was broadcasted on this news channel so uh, this is um this is the news okay so this guy is, is this is reported here okay so just take a look like this plane okay so this plane i was shocked to see this plane wallahi i was shocked to say see this plane what does this plane do is as i mentioned it can go really fast it can flip, it can, it can tilt without any problem, a lot of acrobatic movements. It can go up, it can put its nose down. It, it can make 180 degree, 80 degree turn. It does have a lot of things, but what is so unique about this fighter is that it can actually stall in the middle of the air when i say stall i mean okay let me maybe i can show you in a better way when i say stall so the the plane goes like this this is and then it, you know in the middle of the air it goes like this and it doesn't move and in the middle of the air like in the middle and like no nothing it can take off again like crazy the plane is already in the air and it's not moving okay it's completely it 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 freezes completely and then from the middle of the air in the middle of the air while in the middle of the air it takes off again and it literally takes no time for it to go back to its normal speed that's what the news is talking about like I was like, wow, like it's almost like a human being, you know, it has his own brain, it has his own mind, it can do whatever it wants in the middle of the air. This is one thing that I want to share with you. There are other things that I want to share with you too, which is obviously, um, see the lot of things are happening in the world. So Russian technology, they are really making it's very hard for anybody to compete with them. Okay. It's very, very hard for anybody to compete with them. Now, Russian technology, okay. If you go, um, okay, you know, S400, I'm going to show you that video because the S400 is something um, worth watching. Wallahi, it's, it's S400 has the ability it has the ability to change the world order okay that's what they're saying world order like it will change the world order can you believe it like it will shift the power it has that potential just one technology not even the whole army <laughs> not even a you know a giant army it's just the technology just one system, S400. This is S400, what are you saying? And they're, they're trying to make it like S500, like they'll, they'll, they'll upgrade it. 
this is insane. This S-400 missile, air uh, surface-to-air missile, like it's insane technology that Russia has. I mean, nobody probably can defeat any anybody uh, as long as that, you know, country has S-400 missile, listen, and, and defense system. This is amazing, uh, insane what they can do. They can only, not only uh, shoot down a, you know, fighter jet in the sky, like, F-35, but they can actually collect data. SubhanAllah, this is amazing. They can collect data. So what I mean by collecting data is that they will know what the plane is made of. <laughs> they will know what the technology the plane is using. Like, amazing, insane, insane. And um, if you have, and, and so what happens is when you are collecting evidence, when you're collecting the uh, technology and all that, you know what happens? You are actually stealing information. <laughs> it's, like, it's it's crazy. I'm going to be uh, finding here. It is crazy. So let's read some of the other news, inshallah. Uh, let's uh, see what we have. Obviously, we have uh, Iran news. So let's uh, let's read the news from Iran. What they have to say here. Let me share my screen one more time. One more time. So this uh, drone you see, it's uh, ten million dollar. I think that's what they say. Yeah, it's ten million dollar drone. Don't play with it. Like this drone you are seeing is is like very expensive stuff. So basically what we are seeing in this uh, news breach to happen soon, report says, as Iran's demands were not met at talks with nuclear deals remaining signatories. Let's see here. Fears of war between US and Iran have intensified. Okay. Um, I, I mean, Iran is going to be uh, making a mistake by provoking US. I mean, there is no reason for them to do it. Like I, I saw a news the other day where Iranian officials, they're now, you know, trying to taunt the US. Not a good idea. You shouldn't do that. Like why you care? Why you, I mean, why? So China will continue Iranian oil imports. That's what we find interesting. A Chinese official said Beijing would keep importing Iranian oil in defense in defiance of U.S. sanctions on Tehran. In comments made a day before a scheduled meeting between U.S. and Chinese leaders aimed at resolving thorny trade disputes, we reject the unilateral impos imposition of sanctions, said Fu Kong. Director General of the Chinese Foreign Ministries, Department of Arms Control. On the sidelines of a meeting in Vienna on the implementation of the 2015 agreement to limit Iran's nuclear program. If you go back um, so we can read some of the news too, inshallah. Let's, um, let's read some of the news here. So the Arabia's hometown ambitions could clip wealth fund wings. Okay, MBS expects Saudi Arabia public um, investment fund to develop domestic projects that will reduce its reliance on, on oil. So what Saudi Arabia is doing now, expects Saudi Arabia's public investment fund to develop domestic projects. The UN, okay, so the Arabia public investment risk being pulled uh, deeper into the domestic projects of Crown Prince, okay, carving its international ambitions and try and tying its fortunes closer to its home market. The sources familiar with the strategy have said, unlike most sovereign wealth funds, which are typically focused on generating wealth for future generations, 
PIF has two prong mandate. Okay. What else we can read here? Um, so Trump's border wall, the judge bar, so judge did not accept or allow his building of wall, uh, funding $2.5 billion. This guy is going nuts and bolts. Okay, so let me go back here. So I guess uh, that is pretty much the news. Uh, that is newsworthy. I am actually keeping an eye on the UK election because this guy, I don't want him to win like at any cost. If you are living in the UK, you can probably tell me more about him. But Boris Johnson and the UK media, I don't really like this guy to be winning the election because of what he said. He said that uh, Muslim women were wearing niqab, they look like matchboxes. That's uh, insane. It's just a very derogatory term to say the least. Okay. So that was some of the things or some of the news that I wanted to share with you, dear brothers and sisters. I get the glares on my on my glass all the time. Uh, let me know what kind of um, news you want to read or you want to share with me, inshallah. But these are some of the news that um, that is obviously making headlines. Uh, you can like this video, share this video, leave your comments, subscribe to this channel. See you later.